Oh boy. I think out of all the Zelda games, I've played this one the least. But I have nothing but fond memories of it. Also, this wasn't my first idea for a name. But one of my friends said that I should name the file Shrek. So... That's what we're going with. Here we go. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Olin Island. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? Well, Shrek, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. You got your shield back. Press the button and repel enemies with it. Oh boy. Also, it might be obvious because of the border. But even though this is Legends of Link's Awakening DX, this is on the Super Game Boy, so I can't get the full color palette thing, whatever that you would normally get from the DX version. Which, I mean, is fine. But it's just not gonna look as good. Also, I can do this. I think I'm gonna stick with the green, because I'm not a big fan of the red. Ooh. Gotta be honest, I do not remember much about this game. I hope I just oop. I hope I don't get completely destroyed. Hoot hoot, so you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. The courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It's said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I'll wait for you there. Hoot! You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. So is this not the Master Sword? And also I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this takes place after A Link to the Past. Ooh. Give me all that cash money. Also, just like everything else I do, on stream at least. This will be another 100% run. Also, I'm not sure 
I might need like somebody to point this out to me and tell me if this is actually right or not. But I don't think we can go to the bonus dungeon in Link's Awakening because for whatever reason I think it needs to be through the Game Boy Color. Also, you've got a Guardian Acorn. You reduce the damage you take by half. Also, I did not even remember that was a thing. Holy crap. So I think we need to go back to the village and there should be stuff we can pick up. Plus, you know, it'd probably be a good idea to talk to all the villagers. Also, isn't there like a map? Yes, there is. I gotta go north, okay. I went too far south. Too dang far. Also, level one sword, level one shield. I'm assuming we'll get like level two and maybe even level three for both of them. Ooh. Hey, man. When you want to save, just push all the buttons at once. Uh, don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last door you went through. I'm not really sure why that's it, because I'm just a kid. That seems like a weird way to save. Selecting the item that's right for you. Read this book. Okay, so this is all literally just, hey, this is how you do stuff. Oops. Actually, you know what? Yeah, actually, let's switch back. I like this better. You got a piece of heart. Press select on the subscreen to see. Oh, so let's start here. Oh, select. Duh. I don't know what that bottom one is. That's 0 out of 12. I have n honestly no idea what that is. Unless that's the pictures? But then again, I'm not honestly sure if that's even it. So let's actually go back down. Let's get some money because we're going to need it. Ooh. Okay, so you can't get money from grass. Just like every other Zelda. I wasn't sure because I believe this is the first handheld Zelda game. If I'm not mistaken. Jeez, I don't know if you heard that, but our youngest cat smelled of uh, the oldest cat and she was not too happy about it. So she might have hissed at her. Uh, we definitely need that heart. How much money do we need? Oh, I didn't need all those hearts, thanks. Ow, you jerk. Oh, I'm not attacking the chicken. How about some fishing, little buddy? It'll only charge you 10 rupees. Ooh. Okay, here's how you do it. Use left and right on the... And coast. No, it's your hook a fish, press the button rapidly to reel them in. Let's see. It's a run. I'll only give you a five rupee price for that. You should try again. Okay. Arrgh. I'm gonna get a little bit more than just 10 this time.
I gotta be honest, I was not expecting to be able to play uh, Game Boy games, and I realized, wait a minute, I have the Super Game Boy, I can totes do this. There's a couple other games I definitely do want to play on here at some point. Also a game I would really appreciate it if you'd give me three piece. Okay, thanks. I mean, I know I don't have to do all this now, but I'm pretty much gonna do what I can. When you're running out of hearts, you better enter a house or cave. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. Uh, I'm gonna do this in order as well as I can. I'm sure there's gonna be stuff I forget. Also, Lucky, get off the table. Off, Lucky. Off. It's <laughs> honestly kind of scared that she was gonna break something. Or not break anything, but just like smack the Super Nintendo and cut it off. Oh, God. Oh, this is where I need to go for money. Just to get the border out of the way. I don't want to actually walk off screen, even though all it'll do is really respawn everything. Get about thirty. And then I'll go back. And then watch, I'll just it'll take me forever to get Ooh, what's that? You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. I have no idea what the seashells do. Oh god, Lucky, why are you acting so wild right now? You know, Cookie doesn't really like you that much. Also, our oldest Cookie, she's used to being the only cat, even though it's been about a year since we got Lucky and her sister. And she has not gotten used to them at all. She'll tolerate them every once in a while, but for the most part, she just does not want anything to do with them. Which is a shame because Lucky still like kind of treats her like she's her mom. Since Cookie doesn't care, that makes things kind of complicated, I guess. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, if we get to at least 23 before we clear out this area, we will continue till we get 30. But if not, we'll just go do the fishing thing. Watch the last play. Extra grass gives me a rupee. Okay, it didn't. Oops. Hopefully, hopefully this will work. Have some fishing, little buddy. It only charge. I'll only charge you ten rupees. Fish. Heck yeah. Okay, here's how you do it. Use left and right on the D-pad to aim with cast. Once you hook a fish, press the button rapidly to reel them in. I 
I want that big one underneath me. Yes, I'll try again. Aha. Uh -huh. Get your big fishy butt up here. Oh, it's a big one. And it has a piece of heart, too. You get a 20 rupee prize on top of that. Try again? Uh, no. I, th I think I got what I came here for. You have to have more passion. Live a little. Jesus, Cookie. You getting up against me? So, I'm not exactly sure how much this is going to cost, but we're going to try it. I think we have enough money for it, but we're gonna try to get that Yoshi doll. Ow. <laughs> oh, you jerk. How much does this cost? Trendy game, one play, ten rupees play. The A and B buttons move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play. Good luck. Oh yeah, we got Yoshi. What does that even do? You got a Yoshi doll recently. He seems to be showing up in many games. I believe that's Terrence's house if I'm not mistaken. So, and also, yes, I am using a guide for the extra stuff like heart pieces and the side quest stuff. But I will not be using that for dungeons and stuff like that. Because, wh why? Why would I? Oh, will you give that dollar to my baby? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, uh, I will give you this in return. You traded your Yoshi for a bow. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Yep, those are my boys. They're my boys. I'm Papa. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. Also, geez. Surprised how much stuff you can actually do right now with that quest line. I wasn't honestly expecting all this. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Uh, and some new accessories would be nice. Oh, that ribbon! I need it! Will you trade for my dog food? Of course! Lucky. Thanks. Well, here's your dog food. Actually, that seashell is next, and I already got it. Yeah. Okay. I had Trader Bowen for the dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Oh, okay. So, we gotta go back to where we picked up the sword to, uh, you know, trade the, uh, bow. I know words and what I have. Oh, God. I would not mind having a heart. Oh, God, please. 
Ah, oh, no extra heart for me. Oh, what's that? You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Oh. I guess that's like double attack damage. Dude, it's the guy teabagged me in a uh, Super Mario RPG. <laughs> What's that you have? It's canned food? For heaven's sake, man. Give that dog food to me, please. He's hysterical. What do you do? Give it to him. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Munch, munch. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. You gave him dog food and got bananas. Bananas in return. Good day. Also, I kind of wish that I could, uh, ooh. You've got a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. I kind of wish that, uh, with Super Game Boy, it would give you the, uh, Game Boy Color aspect of the game. Not that it's bad without the extra colors. It just looks better with the extra colors. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't mind being able to see what everything would look like with color. But I will. Hoot, ho, oh, brave lad on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious wood. Much of mystery you will find on you, this uncharted Colonet Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find. In this forest, the windfish is watching. Hoot! Wait, hold on, see. East twice. Like I said, I'm using a guide for the uh, secrets, but that's about it. Not secrets, but the uh, side questing and stuff. Oh, okay. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Okay, so that's how I get out of there. So I'm assuming maybe I could actually push some of this stuff out. Guess I would hope I could. You got 50 rupees! Very nice. Very nice indeed game. I honestly wasn't sure if I could move that stuff at first. I'm glad I can. But I don't think I can get that, uh... Wait, can I get that heart piece? No, I can't. I have to be able to move these skulls. I'm assuming. You pick the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. We go back here, and we gotta do another thing. Oh 
god. How to move everything. Ooh. Gotta go see, uh, what's her face? The Witcher. I was about to say Witcheroo. <laughs> I don't know why I was about to say Witcheroo, but alright. North twice. Oh god. Stop attacking me. Oh, heck yeah. You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You'll be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Ow. Yeah, I found this last night when I was just screwing around. Double, double, toil and trouble. That toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. Oh wait, I actually had to select that in the inventory, okay. Ah, oh, it has the sleepy toadstool, it does. We'll mix it up something in the jiffy if we will. It's all ready, it is. Take it. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my... What? You've got some magic powder. I accidentally hit A without even finishing the final word. Try sprinkling it over a variety of things. Also, I just realized something. This guy tells me things I shouldn't even know. I'm gonna use it this one time. I say that, but I need to be able to not do it in the future. And force myself not to. Also, I found this area, never mind. Earlier or yesterday, and I was screwing around in this. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Uh. What the heck is going on? The last thing I can remember was. Got into a big juicy toadstool, then I had the darndest dream I was a raccoon. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better get set a spell before I hit home. So I did not know that I could turn him into a person. I remember coming here yesterday screwing around, but I did not know that was a thing. You've got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. Hoot! Take the key and go to, tail to the tail cave. Retrieve the instruments that is hidden there. Go now, the windfish is waiting. Hoot! So I'm not gonna lie at first, whenever he was spinning around and the thing was just going Err or the music was just going eh, I honestly got a little scared. I was like, oh god, what is happening? I honestly don't know how to save this thing. And it kind of scares me a little bit. So I hit all the buttons, but I'm just like, uh, I don't know what buttons 
on the Super Nintendo controller count as Game Boy buttons. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just realized it. Because it's been a while since I've had a Game Boy. I didn't realize. I wasn't clearly thinking of how many buttons there were on it. Oh, I need a bomb. Hmm. Sarah House of Bananas. Hmm. I wonder where the uh, dungeon is. I mean, it has to be over this way, I would think. South of the village. I, I think it's literally above his house. But I don't know how to get up there. I can't get up there that way. Hmm. Also, now that I don't have a guide, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it has been way too long since I played this game. Ooh, maybe this is it. I don't have Rock's Feather, which... I do remember that's in this. You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Oh. All I had to do was get it this way. Okay. Also, I don't like that I only have one hit point left. Also, here we are. Also, geez, we uncovered a whole lot of the map already. Hoot, take the key and go to the tail cave, retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now, the windfish is waiting. Hoot! Level one, tail cave. Oh boy. A heck yeah, key. Please, something, give me a heart. Oh, compass already? Ooh. See where the chest and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. There we go. Okay. So I'm assuming all those little boxes are chests. But since I don't have a map, I can't currently see the layout of the map. I don't think I can kill those guys by normal means. So I think I just have to push them off for the moment. Or for the time being. Oh, thank you. You got a small key. You can open a locked door. <clears throat> at last, you got a map. Press the start button to look at it. <clears throat> oh god, there's something in my throat. I think you just press up against the wall here. Yeah. All the acorn power so I really need since I can't get a heart piece. Ah. Uh, you know, we're going to go clear out the left as much as we can before we go into the right, since the boss is on the right side. Ooh. You've got a small key. You can open a locked door. Oh, boy. We have three, and we haven't even opened a door yet, I don't think.
Oh. Oh god. You got 23 piece joy. Oh, oh god. I see a bomb on the wall. But uh, we don't have any bombs. So I honestly thought this would break underneath me. I don't like that I have literally no health. Dang it. Save and continue. Oh. Apparently. Apparently I can be cheap and just let myself die to save. But I'm not good. I'm probably not gonna do that. I probably only save when I'm about to quit or if I do die. Also, if there's any rooms like that one right there on the r left, if we can't get to it this first time in the dungeon, whenever we get bombs, I'll definitely go and see what that is. Ooh. I believe that gives you a hint about something in the dungeon. That thing that was on the wall that looked like the owl. I could be wrong though, but I think that's what it does. This owl statue is trying to say something, but you can't understand it because it has no beak. Oh. Goombas? Can I kill them by landing on them? Oh. I really want to land on him like in Mario. Yeah. Why does nobody give me hearts in this dungeon? Okay, good, good. I can't jump up to get that. Oh, game, game. Why, why are you doing this to me? I am obviously scrubbed here at Zelda. I honestly thought I was good at Zelda at one point, but I guess not. Probably why I haven't beaten Master Quest. To be fair, I only played a little bit, of, uh, a little bit of it, and I didn't get it. I didn't get too much of a chance to really play it. Ooh. Ah, oh, you can land on them. Sweet. Are you kidding me? I fell for that again. You got the rocks feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. Oh, pfft. Jesus. Oh, that filled up all my hearts. Great. Now we don't have to jump down there with these guys. To be honest, I feel better with the rocks feather than I do with the shield. I was honestly expecting to just drop there. Alright, so where do we go now? I really want to go in that room, but I, we of course can't do that. Whoops. Ooh. How do we get up there? Probably literally just walking over here. Oh, and that's a small key lock. Okay. And this is the Nightmare's Key. 
Now you can open the door to the Nightmare Slayer. Oh, sweet. Ah. Oh god, please. Ooh. Ah, you jerks. Alright, so I guess we'll go up and then we'll go to the right. What is this? Heart. So yeah, if I get all hearts. Diamond. Oh crap. I don't know what this is. I'll wait until I get the beak thing. Also, this seems like a Mario Land boss. Why am I so bad? Oh my god. Oh, oh. So we'll be coming back here at some point to figure out all that stuff. I don't think it's anything we really need, but we will be back to see what it is at least. Haha! Jumping for joy! This takes you back to the entrance, doesn't it? Yes, it does, and that takes you right back to the boss. So if I die at the boss, I can come right back. So what is that? Okay, that doesn't really tell you where to go. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. Bzzz, bzzz, outsider. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Also, I'm gonna die. What is this gonna be a fourth time in this first dungeon? Buzz, buzz, outsider. Ooh, it's doing me a fright. Ah! Oh. I'm sure if, oh god, if anyone was here, they'd be like, hey, you should probably just use your shield. <laughs> Buzz buzz outside. Oh, she's white. You jerk. Oh, jeez. I believe in myself. I can do this. Outsider. Oh my god. As much as I don't want to. Let's see if this actually helps. Dang it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, please. Even though I don't really want to use it, it's definitely helping. Until that happened. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh. Give me one second. Good, good. All right, sorry about that. This is it, guys. This is the one. Always be blocking. Always be blocking. Aha! We did it! We didn't even get hit that time. Holy crap. And we definitely needed the extra heart piece. Holy crap. You found the full moon cello. Swamp, a path opens in the blooms. So I'm honestly thinking, ooh, hoot, that is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. An instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Gaponga Swamp. Hoot, indeed! So, uh... I think the plan is for this series is to do everything we can and two dungeons every stream. That we will end with the dungeons being completed. Well, I say completed, but we will be going back to that dungeon at some point to see what all is in there that we missed. Whenever we can do that, at least. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the m, -m, -m Moblins. So, I mean, uh, it might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. So, there's not really much we can do in terms of heart pieces or secret stuff or 100% type stuff at the moment. But, there are a couple of things. Oh. Don't think we've actually been here yet. I don't know what she does. I don't know, we'll actually see. So what's the point in not doing that? Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. At least it doesn't look like the Ocarina of Time theories. Because <laughs> that'd be a bit scary. Say you're terrifying in that game. There we go. Oops. Got a piece of the heart. Press select on the subscreen to see. Also, if you're wondering why I'm pausing, 
every time I get something, it's just to mark it off a list that I have next to me. Eh. Who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. I'm assuming this is where we're supposed to go now. Ow, you jerks. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You come here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Okay, so just dodge and, you know, wait. It's not too bad. But he didn't even charge into the wall. Haha, I got two hits on him that time. Oh, please. How many- oh gosh, how many hits does he take? Ow. I was hoping to get another hit in on him. Aha! You jerkaroo. Didn't even need that. You saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. I guess we take Bow Wow back now. So it said swamp. The windfish name only for what is neither. What? Hmm. Oh, Can I keep Bow Wow's pet, please? Okay, thanks. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. God, did he just eat that moblin? I think he is eating him. Oh my god. He is a monster. To be fair, he is a chain shot for Mario. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you brought my baby back. Now, would you be a deer and take him for a walk? He would really help me out a lot. He will, thanks. What? Huh. Not actually sure what to do now. Got a guardian acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. Part of me feels like I take it to the swamp and do something there because the whole the something in the swamp has opened. I mean, wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it. It's just your bare hands. Which to me says, hey, if you're rescuing this thing and you're in the swamp where something opened up, maybe you might need them. Oh, dang it. Let's go up here. Dang, not up there either. Hoot, that is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget the next instrument is in Kaponga Swamp. So I am going the right way if he at least popped up like that. You're close to Taltel Heights. The camera shop is nearby. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of stuff with that.
See me later when you're alone. Oh, okay. So I can't go up yet. I gotta go down. <laughs> Poor birds. Ah. Oh. Whoops. I didn't mean to go back down. Dang, where do I go? I am so confuzzled. But to be fair, every single game I play on here, I tend to get lost for some reason. Aha! You've got the Guardian Acorn. It'll reduce the damage you take by half. What? What? I guess I go down here somewhere? Also, I believe this is where the secret dungeon is. Unless it's pretty heavy, you won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Also, uh, I am honestly really super confused right now. Where do I go? Oh god, where's the might knows Link's awakening out when you need him. Ponga Swamp is where I need to go, but I don't know how to get to it. Because every... How do I get up there? Hmm. I am honestly really confused right now. Oh god, no, why? Okay, Cuckoo Prairie. I honestly still feel like I take him back and I gotta do something. Maybe I go up from this side. Swamp. Oh, what's in here? Well, I pretty much stick to myself and me and my letters. My name's right. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never see a response. So I'm assuming he has received a response as a boy. Here we are. Danger, keep out. Except Bow Wow. Ah, okay. So that's why we ring. Also, uh, what the hell? So he eats the big ones at least.
I would honestly think you'd eat the small ones too. Okay, you will. Good, 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 good. He just has to be in the mood for him. Got it. You got 50 rupees. Very nice. Oh, this is already the second dungeon. Hmm. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. So I'm assuming we get the power glove thing here for some reason. This doesn't do it, does it? Oh, it does. Okay, good. Give me that key. Ha! I like how the chest swapped up right where he died. You can see where chest and nightmare. Why did the nightmare are hidden? Da, 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 da. We've already read this. I'm probably just gonna read everything actually again because why not? You know, I didn't do it there. Would not mind getting the uh, map. Small key? I can, I'll take it. It's no map, but I'll definitely take it. Small key again. Of course. Close for going for a world record. Also, I need the uh, shield. How can I not go? F oh god, for those world records. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go back and get that key. Oof. It's platforming though. I do feel more comfortable with the rock feather than the shield, but at times it feels weird jumping in this game. So I'm actually going to go to the left and get some of those chests. Hopefully one of them has a map. Because I really would like to see where I'm going. Oh, I'd definitely take that. We've got a guardian acorn that will reduce the damage you take by half. Backtracking reset? Probably. Maybe. Uh, I'm not gonna worry with the lights. Okay, I'm gonna worry with the lights. Oops. Ow, you jerks. Aha. See what you're trying to do, game. Oh god. You found a stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. Ooh. I do not like these things. Oh yeah, we can't get that chest in there because we can't open the... Uh, or we can't get rid of the pots. Watch that one have the map. I don't know why, but I really like jumping in this. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the blue crystal. Okay. Well, that happened. Hopefully we can find a fairy or some hearts. Thanks for the rupees, but I didn't need them. 
Come on, guys, give me a heart. Aha. Oh, thank you, both of you. Fantastic. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with your bare hands. Oh god. But I feel like this is the right solution. I'm really hoping to get the dungeon item soon. Oh. Actually, let's wait for him to go back around. Oh, I just need to walk up against the door. Alright. What the heck is that thing? Crap, crap. Jesus. Okay, that was very, very simple. Okay, that's weird. I thought that'd be near the boss door, actually. I didn't think we were out, honestly, close to the boss door. I just thought, you know... Fighting the guy like that would be near the bus door. Oh god. There's a black hole. Okay, so you got the map. Press the start button to look at it. Oh, that is a... The dungeon that is a pot. Okay, I get it. I get it. Ah, you jerk. Ah, come on. You got 20 rupees. Joy. How many rupees can you hold in this game? You found the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. Heck yes. Kinda sucks that that has to be an item that you've equipped, but, eh. The sound for picking stuff up is just really weird, in my opinion. Oh! Small key. Oh well. Oh. Oh, okay, that's nice. I don't know if that's the intended outcome, but hey, it worked. What the heck is that? Those things... Can I use magic against it? <laughs> You'll be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Guess not. I don't know what to do in that room. But it doesn't look like it leads anywhere, so... Got the Guardian Acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. Actually, I just saw it. I'm legit curious now. Can I defeat them by uh, throwing pots at them? Yes, I can. Okay. I 
Uh. Um. What? Let's go. We need... That was just terrible. Oh wait, I need the pot for that. Oh. Whoops. Screw you. Swamp block thing. Oh, so that's where the okay. Okay. So now I know how to get there. Also, wait a minute. Okay, I couldn't get up there. I thought maybe for some reason I could do that. I'm a fool. I am a foolish fool. But you knew that already. That's really strange to me now. How do I... How do I get the thing that's in here? Saying that, like at all. Oh well. Also, yeah, look, prawn plants. Uh, there we go. And I can't even get that. I should probably can, but. Ooh, I definitely want that. First defeat the imprisoned old voice, last stop Oh, you have to do it in an order, okay. I will do that when I go back, but first, we're gonna go back to the beginning of the dungeon and uh, see what's in that chest. Watch it be the nightmare key. Oh, okay, it's not. Very nice. You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. I don't need to kill everything here. Yeah. Thank you. How dare you. Aha. You don't be able to use this with just your bare hands. Alright, so. Sophos last. And that thing first. So that means that second. Aha! That's so weird. I don't know if any other Zelda game has that mechanic. You've got the Nightmare's key. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's lair. Like, I honestly don't know of any other Zelda game that does that. I don't even know if they do that again in this, but to be fair, I don't honestly remember much of this game. Other than really enjoying it as a kid. Oh god. Can I even go up the ladder? Oh boy. 
What the heck's the boss gonna be here? Uh, it's Shrek because the name limit was only six characters. Ho ho ho, I'm, the, I'm your bad guy. This time, ho ho ho. Isn't there an enemy like this in a Wario land? Nya nya. You can't hurt me as long as I have my battle. My bottle, blah. Wait, don't I have to do something with the bottle? Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm apparently a scrub. Seriously, I don't know how to fight the guy, though. Oops. Also, I love that you can kill the Goombas by jumping on their heads like in Mario. It's a really nice little touch. Oof. Oh no. I wouldn't mind it if there was actually like a uh, teleporter right next to the boss, but of course there's not. Also, I wonder how many times I've died in this game so far. I'm sure we can find out soon. What? Uh, do not ask me what happened there, because I don't know. Why not? Ho ho ho, I'm your bad guy this time. Ho ho ho! Oh god, I didn't realize that. Nya nya, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. I'm just gonna avoid him for now and see if anything happens. Ow, or try to avoid him. I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Wait, you can't move? Uh. Okay. Nya, nya, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Ah. Uh, well, as m I guess I can go and try to just find people that want a Torbjorn. <laughs> But dang, I was talking about to have at least somebody that I knew with me. Oh well, I can still try, and if I don't get it today, I can always try tomorrow, and the next day, and so on and so forth, until the event's over. Nah, nah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my boss. Why does he keep saying that? Oh! Wah! You, you broke my bottle, why? You, you make me hopping mad. Oh god, oh god, please don't touch me. Oh, oh, oh please don't touch Ah! Really? I hope you get one, Joey. Either I still don't think they're worth it yet. Not yet, at least, but it will be one day. One day soon. Yeah, I think he's Waluigi. Because of the whole wee. When is Waluigi getting his own game? The Legend of Wah? The Legend of Wah. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Wah! Oh, the heart's gone. Super Waluigi RPG. This is the only way for me. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Also, I'm gonna probably just go through here and go back, give myself some more time, some more room. Because that jerk. I should call it the what now? The Legend of Zelda Wah's Awakening. There is a mod for the original Ocarina of Time. I don't know why I said the original Ocarina of Time. There's a mod for Ocarina of Time that uh, replaces Link with Waluigi. Ho ho ho, I'm your bad guy this time. Oh ho ho! <laughs> I will probably name the Legends of the Ocarina of Time whenever I eventually play it. Ocarina of Wee! Nyah nyah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. At least I know how to do it this time. I'm not a complete scrub this time. I can survive. He won't touch me. At least until after he leaves his bottle completely. I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Nya, nya, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. I'm honestly ready for the wee again. <laughs> I still don't understand this. Uh, I don't understand why uh, in the new Mario series, yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. I don't understand why in the new Mario Bros. series, like uh, new Mario Bros. Wii, Wii U, uh, new Luigi, whatever, why they don't ever have Wario and Waluigi as playable characters? Because I mean, I would love to play as both of them in those games. I will name Link Waluigi when I get to that game, because I'm pretty sure there's enough spaces for that. Wee! You, you broke my bottle. Why, you, you make me hopping mad! Also, this boss, just the design of it reminds me of a Waluigi, er, Waluigi. Wario Land 3 enemy. Oh god, oh god, please, why? Oh god, please don't kill me. Oh my gosh. As, also, as much as I love uh, Majora's Mask, I'd probably do Ocarina of Time first just because Majora's Mask is a direct sequel, if I'm not mistaken, to Ocarina of Time. You've got the conch horn. Legend of Zelda, wah to the past. Oh, sorry. The Legend of Zelda, wah to the past. Prairie. Prairie. The prairie is waiting. Beep, thank you. I believe we take Bow Wow back now. Which we'll take him back, or it, her back. And... We will, uh... In the stream because uh, I only plan on doing two dungeons and the extras that I could do before them. I thought so. I always felt like Majora's Mask started out with Link leaving in search of Navi. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but I've always felt like that was the case. Also, let's see what's in here. You've got a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Also, I don't... 
didn't even think to pick that up. I, well, I didn't think that's what was in there. I, I thought so. Can can I give Bow Wow back now? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You were such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know, smooch! I know it's supposed to be a kiss, but I literally just imagined her screaming SMOOCH in Shrek's face because that's what his name is. <laughs> you got a reward from Madam Meow. Meow. L l lucky? Oops. Save and quit. We did it. We started Legends out only. Look. We died nine times. And yes, I did as you asked, I named her Shrek. I honestly don't even know how long I've been streaming, but it hasn't felt like it's been that long at all. I don't even remember what time I started, though. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this now. If, uh, it honestly wasn't too long, like if it was like an hour and a half, whatever, or less, I may do more than two dungeons next time but uh yeah that's it for today thanks for joining Joey and I'll be continuing this on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then like usual tomorrow Mario RPG will continue which will actually get to one of my favorite parts I completely forgot how small Moleville was and I forgot there was a star in Moleville but I think there's a bit more extra stuff we can do tomorrow than we were able to do last time. So, we'll be playing for a little while. Also, we're going to be losing all of our damn money we built up in that game. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh god, how do I end this?